Hey, we're welcome to the Sewing Labs. I'm Allie Lindemann, and this is how to make unpaper towels. Uh, also, welcome to my slightly messy studio. <laughs> um, today, we're really going to focus on how to cut the paper towels. And to do that, I already cut the terry cloth for the paper towels, uh, and so I'm going to be showing you how to cut the cotton. The terry cloth is very similar, but depending on what type of cotton you picked, you may have directional fabric. And so I wanted to highlight how to cut uh, on directional fabric. Each cloth is going to be 11 inches by 10 inches. And because I picked directional fabric, the first thing that I did is try to square up my fabric and square up my pattern. Uh, as you can see, you know, I have these linear pairs. Uh, that run along my fabric and I didn't want the pairs that are based on cloth to be askew in any way and so I cut based on the pattern instead of squaring it up based on a ruler or a measuring tool um, so that meant that squaring up this fabric to cut uh, was a little difficult um, what I'm doing now is I chose to cut my 11 inch piece first. So I'm gonna cut through this entire piece of fabric at 11 inches because that means that the 11 inch side is gonna be the vertical for my paper towels. Like if you roll them up, they're gonna stand vertically and I want the pairs to be right side up. So I cut 11 inches off of my yard of fabric and then I'm going to part this out into 10 inch sections so that each piece is 11 inches by 10 inches. I'm, I want to remove the selvage uh, because there is no seam allowance on this project. So I don't want the selvage to be visible. And then I'll measure and cut the first 10 inch section. Um, now it I'm squaring it up the best I can because I am using a serger. I can trim as needed to line it up to match the cherry cloth that I'm going to be using with it. Um, but my, like I said, the important part to me was that the pairs were vertical and horizontal that, that my stripes worked. Uh, now, because it was not well squared, uh, I can see here that the other side of my fabric is very askew. So I'm going to cut one more 10 inch section from this side and then I'm going to flip it over I think and cut the other two from the other side to try and square them up a bit better. Um, so, the middle. so I can get four 10 inch sections out of this strip and then for the other uh, four that I'll need I'll cut another 11 inch strip off of my yard. So as you can see, flipping it around, I'm able to square it up a little bit better uh, than if I had tried to cut across the middle of the bolt. Um, the important part with directional fabrics is that you decide how you want your paper towels to lay uh, on your bolt. So if your paper towel holder is vertical, if it stands up your paper towels, then you're probably going to want your directional fabric to be uh, the direction that I'm cutting mine with the 11 inch being the up and down. If your paper towel holder lays on its side, let's say it's attached underneath a cabinet or something like that, you may want to cut the other direction so that you're, you're still, so that your up and down or your, your vertical part of your pattern actually goes across the 10 inch width. So to sandwich, you just grab a piece of your pre-cut terry cloth uh, they should be exactly the same size. Lay your cotton on top with right side facing up. And then I suggest pinning or using uh, quilt clips to secure the fabric. Um, I'm pretty good with my serger, but because of the terry cloth and the cotton, they do move differently. Uh, within the machine and so I've had some problems in the past if I didn't clip with things getting uh, so some fabric creeping and things like that that caused me to actually have to cut off a little bit more of the cloth than I wanted as I was sewing 
And ideally, you don't want to cut off any of the cloth as you're sewing. They should end up being pretty close to 10 by 11 uh, when you're finished with each one. And you need them all to be the same height. The 11 inch is very important because you want your snaps to line up when you're done.